Jim Cooper at Motu, and I'm here in Frankfurt at Music, Music Mesa 2012 uh, with my friends from Klangfarber, Vienna. And we're talking about uh, an exciting new Thunderbolt-based interface product from Motu called the HDX SDI. Uh, this is a uh, one rack space uh, video interface for uh, both Mac and Windows and it uh, basically gives you comprehensive HD and SD video I.O. Uh, connected to the computer with uh, Thunderbolt. So um, let's take a look, let's go right to the back panel on this interface and take a look at the Thunderbolt connector. So here it is, it's, it's um, the standard uh, mini display port connector that you'd find on, um, like for example, a new MacBook Pro. And this is the uh, New standard, new connectivity standard developed by Intel and Apple. Uh, it's extremely high bandwidth and very low latency. It, it's it's kind of like combining the best of both worlds in terms of FireWire and PCI Express. Uh, although the the actual amount of bus bandwidth available is is many many times as much as as PCI Express. So it's way more bandwidth, but the latency is uh, just as low as it is with uh, PCI Express. So you get the convenience of plug-and-play connectivity like FireWire, but you also get um, the massive power and low latency of, of uh, very high bus uh, format like PCI Express. So uh, Thunderbolt is, um, is really the future, and this is the first of many products that you'll see from O2 uh, that use Thunderbolt connectivity. Um, the nice thing about Thunderbolt is that you can daisy chain devices like you can with FireWire. So, for example, I could have um, a, a MacBook Pro running, say, Avid Media Composer or, say, Final Cut Pro. And, uh, and then off of that, I could have a very high-speed Thunderbolt disk array. There's now uh, disk array products on the market that have um, dual Thunderbolt uh, ports on them. And uh, so you can go from the MacBook Pro to the disk array, and then from the disk array to the, the HDX SDI for your I.O. And it's all extremely high bandwidth. Uh, you can do full uncompressed HD right into the, the disk array from the, uh, the HDX SDI. So we're talking about a very uh, uh, professional and very uh, high speed, uh, high bandwidth, high capacity system, all based on a laptop rig. So. Uh, this is really the, the future of, of video I.O. connectivity. Okay, so let's take a look at the front and rear panel really quickly. Here on the, the left side, we've got legacy standard definition uh, video capture. Uh, so you can just plug in a standard definition camcorder here and do your recording. Here we've got HDMI in. You know, a lot of uh, camcorders these days have HDMI output, which is, is really cool because often that signal comes right off of the the um, sensor and the camera and so you're getting fully uncompressed video digital video signal uh, for capture so you can get really high quality uh, pixel for pixel full raster video capture through the HDMI input um, here we've got a headphone jack with volume control and some power settings and then um, here is the uh, front panel timecode display so there's very comprehensive timecode support in this interface uh, and it's kind of a nice, uh, uh, unique feature that you don't find on, on video interfaces these days except for the HDX SDI. And then here we've got comprehensive metering and status for uh, the video, various video modes and the multiple channels of audio input and output, both digital and, audio, uh, digital and analog. So that's the front panel. Now let's take a look at the connectivity on the rear panel, um, starting with the standard international power supply. Uh, auto switching. Um, here we've got uh, this is word uh, word clock, um, and uh, we've got time code on BNC connectors. Uh, this is stereo AAS EBU on BNC connectors, so that's uh, starting with some audio I/O. And here here's a uh, eight channels of balanced TRS analog input and output. So this is a got really comprehensive um, audio. Um, this jack is a DB25 breakout to um, eight channels of AES EVU digital I.O. up to 96 kilohertz. So um, very comprehensive digital I.O. and analog um, audio I.O. Um, 
It got, has full RS-422 machine control for uh, d doing uh, Sony deck control from your, um, your uh, non-linear editing host. And then, of course, here's the Thunderbolt connection. And um, stand, uh, SDI input and output. Uh, there's an input and then an extra output, so you can actually send the output signal to both a deck and a monitor, for example, simultaneously. Uh, we have an HDMI output, so you can do uh, monitoring on any HDMI-equipped monitor, um, large format or otherwise. And then uh, also uh, analog component and uh, composite um, input and output here as well. So as you can see, it's a very comprehensive video interface. Uh, it works with Final Cut Pro on the Mac, um, Avid Media Composer on the Mac, and also um, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro on Windows. So, uh, and we're also going to be supporting the HDX SDI in Digital Performer 8, which is uh, coming up a little bit later this spring. Uh, so you'll be able to actually do uh, video playback from the Digital Performer timeline through the HDX SDI to an SDI monitor, an HDMI monitor, or uh, any, any type of professional monitoring solution that you're working with. So the HDX SDI from Motu uh, with Thunderbolt connectivity coming soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.